What ho everyone, Ian here with a new video blog chat. So something different this time, we're going to do an unboxing video. You know, those are pretty popular in model railway circles and uh, well, I don't get it. I mean, why? Why would you watch somebody take a model train out of a box? Or in extreme cases, why would you watch somebody take a box out of a box and then take another box out of that box before you take the train out of the box? Yeah, I don't get it. But in an attempt to understand, I'm going to make my own. So, uh, yeah, it might turn ironic, it might turn comedic in places, and I might find myself taking the mickey a bit. So uh, if I do, I apologise to those people I'm taking the mickey of, but there you go. But uh, I'm going to unbox this and I'm going to give my thoughts about it. So what am I unboxing? Well, it's this, uh, my last order from Hatton's. This was this was in the trunk of my Hatton's account when the company folded, so I got in there pretty quick and had it sent to me. So what do we have? It's the A1X Terrier. You know, well, whether you're a full-size rail enthusiast or just a Thomas the Tank Engine fan, you'll likely know the A1X, the Terrier. It's Stepney, Stepney the Bluebell engines, uh, and Stepney, Stepney is an A1X, yes, there were 50 of them built between 1872 and 1880, so it's a really old, really old design of the locomotive, and 10 of them have survived to preservation, so that's pretty good. I mean, originally they worked commuter trains out of London, and uh, the, until they were, like, displaced by larger locos, uh, so... Uh, then they found their way onto lightly laid branch lines and such, and maybe even shunting duties as well. Hailing Island was one branch line in particular that the class worked with great success. And I thought it would be the perfect locomotive for the light railway that I'm planning. So uh, I think I might also have been labouring under the misapprehension that the East Kent Railway had a couple of them, but uh, that was the Adams Radial. So... Uh, but I digress, you know, the, the price was good and I needed a light railway locomotive, so I was cool with it. And here it is in its box. And now comes the unboxing. Cool. <laughs> kind of excited, really. So before we go any further, I just want to talk about packaging because packaging is really important to me. And uh, I spent like years and years as a graphic designer. So uh, we studied packaging and packaging design and everything so yeah I have definite opinions on the packaging and so uh, I'll probably go off on a packaging tangent at uh, at some point so let's um let's take a look lovely standard dapol box blue and gray with a nice illustration on the front cover and so let's get in there and see oh 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 Oh, 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 no, let's let's stop here because this, this is really nice. Oh, I love this. Uh, I love this sensation of like just having your box slide open like that. That's just gorgeous. You know, Apple do that. Apple do that with their iPhones and their iPads and their and their MacBooks, you know, the, the way an Apple product just slides out of its box just slowly and seductively like that. I mean, that's gorgeous. I love that. I mean, in fact, I could, I could do this over and over again because it's such a lovely, lovely sensation. So, but that's not the point of the unboxing video. So we'll just like slide that off. I mean, that's just beautiful that really is I mean it really kind of like um builds up the anticipation because you've spent a lot of money on this loco and this is all building up the anticipation of what it's actually going to look like when you get the uh when you get the box open so we've got the box open and you know okay I understand why why these things have this foam on the front for it's for protect protection yeah but uh, 
honestly, you know, I think and I'm, now I'm not going to, I'm going to try and not look here. I'm going to try and work it so that uh, that I can get a proper reaction to it. And I mean, I've got a bit of card, a bit of paper there. That's the, uh, that's the guarantee, basically. But now I'm going to try and be clever here. So I'm taking that foam out and this hopefully you'll get the same effect as I, I do when I see. So here we are. Here's the here we are, here's the box, and we're gonna do the we're gonna do the lovely seductive opening like that. And then the lid drops off, and then we can Ah! Yo! Know, once again, it's a lit. The unboxing is a little disappointing because it's in this protective, protective sleeve. Though, so you're still, you're still not getting the effect of being able to see. It. I can see it in there. It's kind of like obscured by the plastic. But uh, what is really, what is really nice is this is a. This is a very good box and it's packed with foam. So that's cool. I like that. So that's really neat. So let's get that box out of the way for the minute. And then we'll get into the uh, business of the task of getting in there. I mean, this is it's a little bit of a little bit of a tease. Oh, I can see see the buffer beam clearly so it's nice uh so yeah we get in there and we slide one plastic sleeve off and then we can like uh oh there's a something there i wonder what that is the instructions will tell me and then we can like unclip this and now now we start to start to see it and we can like lift it out of its cradle and um, unwrap it and oh, <laughs> oh, I say, ah, uh, lovely. And I mean, yeah, we've got a couple of three link couplings in Stantas, I would guess those are, but uh, yeah. And I went for plain black because it is going to be, my layout is going to be a fictitious or fictitious uh, light railway. So I didn't really need livery from another company. So I went with plain black and I don't, re I don't regret it. This is certainly beautiful. Look at those handrails, those handrails so thin and you've got like uh, the piping there and oh I mean yeah just super some super backhead detail there in the uh, inside there uh, lamp iron oh my god the lamp iron is so on the front there is so so delicate and we've got Handles on the smoke box door. There's a couple more, couple more hand up uh, lamp irons there, and there's another lamp iron on the back. Two, two lamp irons on the back, and sprung, sprung buffers. And gosh, wow, this is just a delightful, delightful little, little thing. Um, yeah, um super happy with this this purchase you know well uh i can imagine i can imagine making my own decals up for this with a locomotive number and a fic the fictitious locomotive company name on it Ooh, what was that oh something dropped off oh that's a um that's the step step there that just dropped off but i suppose that maybe just didn't get glued in properly but uh so that goes in there and uh yeah i mean i think that that's maybe should have been glued in so we'll just leave that for for now but wow yeah 
Um, just gonna just gonna enjoy this for a minute, and uh, then we'll we'll come back and we'll take a closer look at it. Well, everybody, that was it. That was my first uh, unboxing video. Hope you enjoyed it. Uh, I kind of enjoyed the experience of of opening the box and you and uh, giving my genuine reaction there as I saw it. I do see some videos where it's clearly apparent that these people have not. They, well, sorry, they have seen the locomotive before they shot the videos so it's like that was all open and honest I really didn't see the locomotive before before I opened the box uh, it's just yeah it is it's a, it's a lovely locomotive I'm certainly glad I bought it there's one thing I'm as I've gone around it and studied it now is one thing I'm noticing is like there's no no coal in the bunker I don't mind that or was there supposed to be coal in the bunker I I don't know. Somebody's got one of these Dapol Terriers. Perhaps I can leave a comment in the video and let me know. So, uh, but uh, yeah, it's uh, gorgeous. I'm very happy with it. And I suppose now we've done an unboxing video. I uh, I have to do a boxing video, I suppose. So we just have to like box it up. Is 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 that a thing? I I don't know. So we're just gonna like. Uh, shut it up and uh, put it away and uh, bring it out again when I can, when I can uh, get the uh, the layout started the layout the O scale light railway micro layout I'm now now I've got this I'm really really looking forward to the idea of of building this so it's uh, gonna be a lot of fun I've got the American O scale cameo layout up there to uh, to finish and that's not far from being finished, to be honest. And uh, so when I get that done, then I will probably move on to uh, move on to this. Uh, and that'll be fun. Looking forward to that. So we'll close this box up and, well, we'll talk to you again some other time. Now I've closed the box up. Now I just want to, like, open it again. And... Close it again. And... Ooh.